Hello everybody, Turtle King the Third here, and today I wanted to share a video with you because I know a lot of people have to go back to school, which everyone hates. And I know some people also need really expensive calculators like a TI 84. Why we still need Texas instruments, I don't know. But they're like a hundred bucks, so is it worth it? Uh I I'm not back to school yet. But calculators and everything they're really expensive and school is really boring so there's only one thing that can make it better downloading games onto a ti-84 yay all right so it's re it's simple it's really easy to do and i'll switch it over to show you how to do it but there's a few things to keep in mind one this video is specifically for the TI-84 Plus CE, but it does work with a lot of other TI-84s. Secondly, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. One, there isn't a lot of memory on these. In fact, this has the most memory, and it's still not enough. So you might have one, maybe two games on it. Another thing you need to watch out for is libload, and I'll show you how to get that later, since some games require it in order for them to run. And the third thing, although optional, is pro is usually better for everything. It's it's a calculator shell, and it's not like a physical thing on the calculator, like a case or anything. But what it does is, well, it runs programs better. And I'll show you how to get one of those as well. Alright. So... Let's get started. Alright, there's a few things you want to keep in mind when you're going to download all your stuff onto your calculator. So, the first thing you're going to want to remember is A, you need a calculator. Also, I'm going to drop my mic a lot. But So, one of the programs that you need for it is TI Connect. Now, this is necessary. Because without it, you're not going to be able to put anything on it, on your calculator. Now, to get TI, TI Connect, you're going to want to go to the education.ti.com, and you're going to want to click on the Downloads tab. Next, go to Technology and select whatever calculator you have, and then View Connectivity Software. Then hit Find. it alone and then what you're going to do if it doesn't work which it should is go down to connectivity software and get the TI connect software now obviously if you don't have a plus CE you're going to want to put in whatever you have so once you have the TI connect what you want to do is go is go to www .cmetech.net Now there are all, there are multiple things websites that you can do to download your stuff but the basic thing of it is you're going to want to go in and you're going to want to you want to go you want to go to you're just going to search your calculator in archives and you're going to want to find whatever calculator you have and then you're going to want to go and you can either select assembly programs or basic programs. There's a huge difference in how to run them and I'll cover that in a bit. So let's say I wanted to download a basic game. You're going to want to select ba program basics and then program game. Uh, let's say I want to download Minesweeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here so I can see if I want to download this, which I do. And you can see screenshots of the game and everything. Now from there, you're going to want to download CSE Minesweeper. And it's going to download in the bottom. Now from there, you're going to want to open it. And so here it is, CSE Minesweeper. You want to go in, and you're going to want to read the README. 
because that tells you a lot of stuff about it. So it tells you. So a lot of them require you have to have contents and stuff. And you're gonna usually want to sell a lot of them. It tells you instructions and everything. So do do do. Alright. For your own, you're gonna want to close the readme. And since I don't need it anymore, I'm just gonna delete it. Now what you're gonna do, select these three files, or however many it is. I prefer one files because they're much easier to do. You're gonna want to copy them and then drag them to your desktop. Okay, so it's not working. Because <laughs> I'm good. Alright, so let's try just this one. We're going to copy it to the desktop. And then here it is. Here's the file. So now you're going to want to open TI Connect. And I'm going to push it off to the side a bit. And you're wanna going to take your Minesweeper, whatever you're downloading. And you're just going to want to drag it right into there. And then you're just going to have to send. Make sure you send it to the RAM r instead of the archive. Because if you archive it, you're not going to be able to play it. Okay. So once you have a basic program onto your computer, or calculator rather, what you're going to do is you're going to do program. And then you're going to find it. And then you're going to open it. Now it should run. I deleted Minesweeper because I didn't have enough space. But you should have, but I have a game I can show you. It's called Defend, not sponsored. And you run it, so you just hit enter to run it. So you do program, you find it, you hit enter, and then you hit enter again, and then it runs. So, and then you can start playing your game if it'll show up. See? And then I can start playing the game if I want to. And that's how you do that. So let's say instead of a basic program, you did all these steps, but instead you downloaded an assembly program. Great. So you'll notice if you do an assembly program and you hit program and then you tr attempt to run the assembly program, it won't work. So in order to get around this program, you're going or er, error, you're going to want to hit second and zero to bring up the catalog. Then you're going to want to go down till you reach the ASM tag for assembly. Now you hit that, and that's going to bring up the ASM tag. Now you want to hit program. And you're gonna run your, and you're gonna paste on your program. For my case, Flappy Bird. And you can see it didn't work when I had the ASM tag. Now, when I run it, it opens up, and it's a fully functional, playing, playable game. But let's say you don't want to do that every time. Well, there's an easy way around that. What you do is you go to pretty much any website and you download a liblo or you download a shell a program shell so i personally use cesium or whatever it's called now in order to run cesium what you do is you hit program and then and then you run a when you run A, it'll bring up a menu, and that and that menu plays, and that menu has all your games, and it'll play assembly games, basic games, and everything. And in order to download a program shell, you do the exact same steps as a regular game. So one problem you're going to run into is that some assembly games are going to say need libload and then it's going to bring up a link so so you just go into the 
you go into your Google Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer if you're still old, and you and you type in the link, and that brings up a page, and you download Libload just like a normal game. Once you put that onto your calculator, you're set, and you can play and run any game. And here's a tutorial on how to do either type in the link on your calculator that it pops up, or you can go back to Simitech and it'll and if you just sew it, it'll give you a link to get to the website. But once you're there, you just go in, you do download for C library zip, and then you just install it like a normal game. To download Cesium onto your calculator. You want to go back to Semitech. Yes, they're very useful. And you want to go to Archives, your programs, Assembly programs, and then Assembly Shells. Then you just want to search for Cesium. And then you go for the download. It will download it. When it will download it onto your computer. And you just download, and then you put it on your calculator like a normal game. Congratulations, now you can goof off in class playing games like Flappy Bird, Pac-Man, Tetris, throughout your entire day without really needing to do any work. Sure, it takes up a lot of desktop space, but after you're done, you can just delete the files from your computer. They'll stay on your calculator. And that's the long and short of it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I just wanted to make this quick back 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 to school video so that you can all do something during class if you have a mean teacher. You don't need to do any work. See you guys next time.